WTSR's concert series produced by LTV. I'm Corey Barone and I'm here tonight with Mike Montre. So Mike, how are you tonight? Pretty good. Good? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Good. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Like how long have you been singing and playing the guitar? <coughs> uh, I, well, I, I didn't actually start playing guitar until I was uh, 17. Um, I'm 31 now. so. So I guess that would mean 14 years. Okay. Yeah, I mean, not as seriously when I first started. A lot of people started a lot um, yeah. younger than yeah. that, you know. But oddly enough, and now that's what I do. <laughs> and <laughs> so when did you know that it was like what you wanted? Regardless of whether or not it, for the rest of my life, it continues to be my occupation, I'll still always do it. So probably very shortly after I started actually playing, you know, it was like a relationship with feel kind of thing you know yeah. you know want to I want to play regardless of what it's interpreted as you know if it's just me like in a room that's yeah, fine yeah that's what, what you like to right. do yeah so um where are you from I grew up in New Jersey in North Brunswick New Jersey okay. which is about 40 something minutes from uh, yeah. here maybe Route 130 uh -huh. and um correct me if I'm wrong you were in a band before this one right I was yeah. Yes, I've been in, well. I've been in more than one. Uh, actually, originally I, I formed my own band uh, called Water, that still plays okay. occasionally. Is more like we did some touring, played in, in uh, Jersey, released yeah. a few albums, and um, then and then previous to this, for the past year, I spent on tour with a band called The Samples, mm -hmm. who. Um, or a bigger, like more national act that uh, did a full U.S. tour a couple times. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, like, what was your favorite place you went to? We went to some really cool places as far as um, like an actual venue is concerned. Uh, we did, we, we played at the House of Blues in Dallas and one in Atlantic City. Uh, those are cool places to play, but some of the cities are, that were cooler than that, like New Orleans is an amazing city, you know, yeah. uh, and uh, I loved being in Montana. We played at a couple of clubs there, too. It's like a uh -huh. scenic-wise, you know, it's a beautiful place. Places yeah. I hadn't been. I've seen a lot of this country a lot, a lot many times. TV. Yeah, right. It's yeah. totally totally different. You know, when you have two cities in the space of a state that's like the whole yeah, East Coast, <laughs> it's like... Uh -huh. <laughs> um, do you go on a lot of tours, like, with this band now? Not as um, pronounced, you know. It'll be more a smaller thing. Maybe we'll go somewhere and play uh, for a handful of shows in a particular market and then come back, rather than like being on a tour bus with an entire band for like right. six, maybe yeah. three months or something. More relaxed. Do you guys have any like rituals you do before a show, or you personally <laughs> that I can talk about on the college TV show? Mm -hmm. No, I. I uh, <laughs> I, I mean, it depends, like, uh, not specifically, I guess it depends, um, yeah, I don't know, I just like to be relaxed, that's the only thing I, you know, can attest to, really, mm -hmm. before I play. Yeah. Is there, like, any, like, band or singer that influences you? Sure, yeah, well, there's a lot, um, it's hard to say. Like I always, when I'm asked that question, usually I tend to uh, think about in the now, like more like who I might be listening to or being influenced by right now, right. rather than. I mean, I, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Ryan Adams, mm -hmm. who's like a singer-songwriter kind of dude that puts out albums like, you know, like they're going out of style, and I, I, I get great influence from him. I mean. Uh, I also like jazz music a lot, too. all kinds, like every uh, genre, so to speak. But I've been listening quite a lot to him more recently. And is there anything else that influences your music? like Outside of, of listening life? to other people's yeah. music? Oh, yeah, everything, I think. You know, it's inevitable. I, I don't think you can anticipate influence in, uh, in art. You know, it, it just kind of the stuff that comes out is absorbed by you, sometimes maybe even subconsciously if that makes sense, you know, like you're not aware of it as it's influencing you, but then when you create something, it comes out of it. Mm -hmm. 
So, like, since you started playing guitar, like, when you were 17, like, was there, like, what was your life plan before you started that? What was my life plan? <laughs> I don't think I had a life plan at 17, <laughs> well, I gotta be honest with yeah. you. Um, I'm not quite so sure I had a plan. Let's, I, well, I was gonna, I was like, about to go think, to college. Where did you see yourself? I don't know. I can't, I don't think I can. Good thing. Uh, I didn't, at that stage, I was just kind of waiting it out, you know, I figured. I had a few more years before maybe I had to. I mean, I've had jobs. It's not like I've entirely just been a musician since I was 17, you know, so. Yeah. Like what, what kind of job? I worked uh, a corporate job for about six years, actually, for a mutual fund company. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I had, I, I, was, I was on the path to whatever that was taking me, yeah. but, uh, but that's, that's behind me now for now, so. So, if you had to play one sport in the Olympics, which would it be? Do they still do the curling where they like they shoot do. the thing down there? Why for some I'd reason I knew that. you would say curling? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, that, I really did. I was like thinking of the most random sport. That, that's, I just want to know how to play it. I, then maybe I, right. So, that's what I'm going to go with, curling. Curling. What do you think? That's exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. could be. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? I don't know. Um, on a personal level or a music level, like what, like. Uh, like anything. Like, do you still see yourself playing? And oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, well, because I do it. Like, it, it's not. I mean, it's it's fortunate for me to get opportunities to play mm -hmm. that um, make sense. In the, in the essence of like people hearing my music and economically or whatever the case might be, you know, but I want to play, like, that's a part of, um, I'd like to keep that a part of me beyond five years, yeah, so I would see yeah. myself still playing music, yeah. Okay, well, that's great. I mean, I'm sure you're going to have a great show tonight. We're just about ready to get started, so stay tuned.